I've been making YouTube videos about growing on Twitch and other live streaming platforms for over a year now, and I'm very thankful to be helping so many of you. However, even with my years of marketing experience, I can admit the hardest question that I've been asked is how to become a successful console streamer. In this video, I'm going to be tackling that question and giving you a step-by-step -step guide, so let's get right into it. Also, I'm assuming that you don't have a computer to do anything because most console streamers don't. Step number one, build your channel. Before you even have your first stream, you need to build your channel with an eye-catching profile picture, name, and panels. All of these can be changed on the mobile version of Twitch and should be done so before streaming. You need a unique name that will help you stand out from the millions of other streamers on the platform. Same with the profile picture. Even if you use a picture of yourself as the profile picture, that's not a bad thing because you are building a personal connection with those that are exposed to your channel. Your panels and bios should give people a reason to watch your stream, more than just telling people about yourself. Use this as a chance to convince viewers to check out your stream, even when you are offline. Once you have your channel built with all the necessities, you can move on to step number two. You need to have a chat moderator such as Nightbot or one of the many other chatbots out there. You can use these to set up commands to not only prevent any type of language that you don't want in your stream, but to also give information about yourself such as your age or links to your other social medias. This is important because social media is a key part of growing as a console streamer and this leads me right into step number three. Create social media profiles for your streaming brand. You can and probably should use your personal social media sites in the beginning because you need all the support that you can get. However, you should also create new ones with the intention of posting content to reach new viewers. The hardest part about growing on Twitch or any live streaming platform is the fact that unless you have viewers already, you will never be recommended to new viewers. This is unfortunately because there are millions of other streamers on the platform who are streaming and trying to do exactly what you are doing. You cannot let this demotivate you. You have to allow this to light a fire under you and create a viewership for yourself elsewhere. Even though you theoretically don't have a computer or it's not good enough to stream on, you could still make content on TikTok and other social media platforms to help you reach new potential viewers that you could direct to your streams. You do not have to post clips of your streams. They could be anything that will put yourself in front of viewers. You could hop on any trends, tell stories, jokes, or post anything on these short form content platforms and over time you will reach more and more people that you could direct to your streams. This is exactly why in my management program I work with you one on one to help you reach as many people as possible via these short form algorithms and then I help you direct this traffic to your live streams. I have limited spots to make sure that I have enough time to work with everyone but if I have any openings and you want to work with me one on one, you could join my Patreon which is the top link in my description. Step number four, create a streaming schedule. You need to create a schedule on when exactly you are going to be streaming and stick to it. This is because streaming is a numbers game, meaning the more people that you have watching you, the more people you are going to reach. With that being said, you need to leverage your entire community and send all of them to your streams at a specific time on a specific day. It's not about streaming every day, it's about directing your entire community that you do have the one specific place at one specific time so you can reach more people directly in the category on the streaming platform. And you will start to see that you grow more on a stream to stream basis. You'll grow much faster because you'll have that many more of your community members tuning into each of your streams, therefore you'll be able to reach that many more people. Which leads me to the last and final step. Step number five, save for a cheap gaming PC. By cheap, I definitely don't mean anything less than $800 because if you are spending less than $800, realistically speaking, it probably will not be good enough to stream on. Even if you have to save for two years, penny pinching wherever you can, you could still make the most of being a console streamer until you are financially ready to make the switch. It's much harder to grow as a console streamer on Twitch, Kick, or any streaming platform. However, with this five-step guide, you are now better prepared to make the most out of your console streaming experience. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you could join any of the tiers on Patreon, and I will personally help you with what you need to do in order to grow with streaming. Once you join you have access to my discord where you can message me and i will help you personally through the program thank you for watching all the way to the end consider subscribing if you are a streamer or thinking about becoming one if you are a streamer i think this video here will help you out